Now, what services do you offer um, for members of the community with more limited mobility? For instance, they wouldn't necessarily be easily able to attend the Friendship Centre in Rostock Hall. Uh, is there anything that you offer that would support individuals like that? Yes. The fact that they can't actually access um, Lost Dot Call, the Friendship Club at Lost Dot Call, from off the moment, um, back to it, we want to say, we do provide some transport for people who um, want to attend the luncheon clubs at Lost Dot Call. We do have, provide some transport. Um, we don't provide transport every day, but we do provide some transport, usually for our luncheon clubs, because we know that the people who come to the our luncheon clubs can be particularly frail. But we do have um, a promoting independence department, which is a huge department within Age Concern. And they specifically provide services to people who um, have perhaps reduced mobility. Um, I can rhyme them all off for you because there are quite a lot of services. They range from such things as a basic foot care service, so that's um, a tall nail cutting service for people who may find it difficult to access uh, mainstream uh, chiropody, podiatry, that sort of thing, to supported shopping where we can help people to shop either by doing it for them or accompany them to the shops. And um, That's not just a, a grocery shopping, that can cover things like um, clothes or furniture, so it's anything really. We have um, an enabling department which helps people who may be more housebound and restricted, uh, don't have many visitors, don't have many friends going around, we provide a volunteer for them. That volunteer keeps them touch with them on a weekly basis, either by going to the house with them, maybe accompanying them to the shops, on a walk, whatever they want to do. If people don't want someone visiting them in their own home, we do provide a phone service where someone will ring them on a weekly basis and speak to them, make sure that they're okay and just have a general chat with them. We have a service that uh, supports people who have been in hospital or maybe have had some medical intervention and are finding it difficult once they get home. Because if you think of an older person who maybe breaks a leg or breaks an arm, doesn't have anybody at home with them, this gets sent home from hospital with the foot or the leg in plaster or whatever and how do they cope? They might not have any food in the house. So we provide a service for them uh, for a minimum of six weeks to make sure that they have everything they need to be able to be independent. Um, we have a carers access to health service where we provide help to carers who are caring for someone and who may find it difficult to um, keep an appointment, a medical appointment, attend a hospital appointment, we will then support that carer to make sure that they can continue to live a normal life by supporting the person that they are caring for. Um, what else have we got? We've got all sorts of things. We do have um, a home help service as well, where we can provide home helps for people who feel that they need some help with their housework. Uh, I think that's all. Quite a few, quite a few services really when you think about it. I'm sure there's more, I'll just off the top of my head I can't think what they're likely to be.